When was the last time you went without food or shelter or even fresh, clean clothing? That's exactly what people are dealing with in Alabama since those tornadoes ripped through two weeks ago. Nine News reporter Tony Morodnas introduces us to a local pastor from that state now rallying churches to help. Waiting for donations at the Churchy Pastors in Mason. Rick Groover wants to help tornado victims in Alabama. Some of the smaller towns like where we're from, uh, Hueytown, Concord, Pleasant Grove, they didn't get the attention. And uh, I actually have friends there I went to school with, and uh, their houses are gone, their cars are gone, they've lost everything. Now the church tries to collect an 18-wheeler's worth of items to send to them, from shoes to baby items, and other clothing items are needed. Yesterday we got a call there in bad need of sunscreen, and uh, like insect repellent. God's moving, God's moving quick on this one. Jerry Reiner of Foundation Builders International fetches donations from churches around the region for the cause. It's, it's, what, uh, it's what the Bible tells us we should do. It's, it's, um, it's, we should be loving those that, that, are, that are hurting around the country, even though it's gonna affect somebody that's uh, two or three states away. We've got the truck maybe about halfway uh, filled with stuff. And uh, we're shooting to fill it all up today and tomorrow. We'll be here all day today until 5 p.m. And then we'll be here tomorrow until 5 p.m. The donations will get shrink wrapped on Thursday. And the truck will leave Friday to deliver the goods. It takes all of us, you know, getting involved to make a difference. Even from a few states away. In Mason, Tony Moronis, 9 News. Some items still needed are baby formula, diapers, and for all ages, underwear. Does your child.